Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. We're saying our prayers this morning in the parish of Musselbrook in the Upper Hunter here in New South Wales. In Musselbrook, we worship on land traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and the Camilleroy people, and we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And as we come together in prayer this morning, we especially hold up in prayer our sister communities in Singleton, Cessnock and Brankston Greta Lockenbach, and all of our communities in this Newcastle Hunter region. We pray especially for those whose lives are irrevocably changed, for those whose bodies are broken, for those whose hearts are broken. And so we pray, O God who calls us by name and enfolds us in your love, in our grief and our shock, contain and, com and comfort us, embrace us with your love, Give us hope in our confusion and grace to let go into the new life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's grace in all things, in all circumstances. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children, through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day's lights open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is two psalms. We're going to read from Psalm 108 and then a portion of Psalm 109 beginning at the 20th verse. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, lute and harp, for I will awaken the morning. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing your praise among the nations. For the greatness of your mercy reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth that those whom you love may be delivered. O oh, save us by your right hand and answer me. God has said in his holy place, I will exalt and divide Shechem. I will parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my rod of command. Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom will I cast my shoe. Against Philistia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? You go not out with, your, with our armies. Give us your help against the enemy, for human help is vain. But the power of our God we shall do valiantly. For it is he that will tread down our enemy. Act for me, O Lord my God, for your name's sake, and deliver me as your steadfast love is good. For I am poor and needy, and my heart writhes within me. I fade like lengthening shadows. I am shaken off like a locust. 
My knees are weak from fasting. My flesh grows lean and shrunken. I have become the scorn of my enemies. and When they see me, they toss their heads in derision. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me for your mercy's sake, that all may know that it was your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it. Though they curse, yet give me your blessing, and those that come against me will be put to shame, and your servant shall rejoice. Let those that oppose me be covered with disgrace. Let them wear their shame as a garment. And I will give the Lord great thanks with my mouth and praise him in the midst of the multitude. For the Lord will stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those who would condemn them. God of grace, we thank you for all your gifts to us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy in faith and hope, and never to fail in love to you and our sisters and brothers. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, beginning at the 26th verse. Then an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go towards the south, to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom may I ask you, does this prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak. And starting with the scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. They were going along the road. They came to some water. And the eunuch said, Look, Here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptised? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptised him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more. He went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Astor's, And as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. May your words live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and the seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. 
you Christ are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdoms of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, brought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints to glory everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. our collect for the second Sunday after Pentecost. O Lord, for whom alone all good things come, grant that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good and by your merciful guiding may perform them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God and Father, we pray for our world created by your love. We pray for peace on earth, for wisdom for our leaders, and justice for all. We pray for our Prime Minister, Anthony, for our Premier, Chris, for all who represent us in all levels of government, for all who serve in public service, and particularly at this time we give thanks who serve at the front line in all of our emergencies and natural disasters. We hold in prayer the First Peoples of this Diocese and we pray for all of our communities, those in which we live and which we work. We pray for our families and our friends and all whom we love and those whom we are called to love. Lord of grace, hear our prayer. Jesus, our incarnate word, prophet, priest, and redeemer. We pray for your church, for its ministry to reflect the works you have done. We pray for our Anglican church, and especially for our Diocese of Newcastle. We pray for our bishops, Peter, Sonia, and Charlie, and for all of our clergy and laity, and for our extended communities, in our agencies and schools. We pray for our parishes and we pray for all who live their lives as witnesses to your living presence. We pray that you will renew our faith, that we can confidently share your living presence with others. God of grace, hear our prayer. Eternal Spirit, whose breath gives us the peace which surpasses all understanding. We pray for all who are at this time grieving, for those who are confused, those who are uncertain, those who are feeling lost. And we also pray for those whom our society has forgotten and undervalues. Especially at this time, we pray that you will restore broken relationships, bring hope to the hopeless, healing and wholeness to all who need it, and restoration to all who suffer in mind, body or spirit. Especially the hungry and the homeless, the lonely and the friendless, the sick and the sorrowing. And we pray for all who care for them. Breathe on your people, Lord, the breath of life, and bring us all to your mercy and grace. God of grace, hear our prayer. 
Christ Holy, Father, Spirit, Son, Mysterious Godhead Three in One. Transform our lives by your risen power, that we, with all your saints, may come to share forever in your glorious eternal life. We give thanks for all with whom we have shared our lives and our love. And we especially pray for those who have died recently in our parishes, in our communities, and especially those who have died in the accident at Greta on the weekend. We also pray for those for whom we have loved and lost, whose anniversary of death occurs at about this time. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us out into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with the fire of your love. That all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit. We may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may, with one voice, glorify our God and Father. Amen.